Hello, Karis. Hi, Tom. Now, uh, okay. the oil giant BP has become the latest company to suspend shipments via the Red Sea. They're, of course, concerned about security in the area. Uh, what are the consequences for the shipping industry then? Well, global supply chains could very well much be affected. Um, that's because 12% of international trade uh, passes through this very critical waterway every year. And five of the world's six top shipping companies have announced they will not send vessels through the Red Sea, while Costco, the other one, has yet to announce its plans. This all comes as Houthi rebels in Yemen have launched drone and missile attacks on ships traveling through the Bab el Mandab Strait, also known as the Gate of Tears. The group, which has declared support for Hamas, controls a significant swathe of territory around the capital, Sana'a. It says it's targeting vessels traveling to Israel, though it's unclear what the ship's destinations were. Instead of using the Bab el-Mandab Strait, some ships will now have to take a longer route, navigating around southern Africa, potentially adding about 10 days onto the journey and hundreds of thousands of dollars in fuel costs, while Egypt would also suffer as fees paid by ships using the Suez Canal at the northern end of the Red Sea are a key source of foreign currency earnings. <clears throat> While well, oil prices jumped on that news, although ample supply and scepticism around Russia's plan to cut exports in December limited gains, the global benchmark Brent crude up more than a 2 percent uh, to about $78 a barrel, while a West Texas Intermediate up 2 percent there as well. Well, let's take a look at the day's trading action and on Wall Street, stocks rose, adding to momentum seen over the last seven weeks. The S&P 500 up over half a percent, the Nasdaq gaining about three quarters of a percent and the Dow Jones trading flat. European markets closed mix after their fifth straight week of gains. The FTSE in London added half a percent. The Paris Quet Quarant lost about a third of a percent while the Frankfurt DAX shed six-tenths of a percent. The European Union has launched a formal investigation into social media platform X under a law designed to combat disinformation and hate. It's the first ever probe under the Digital Services Act, which came into force in November and requires big tech firms to do more to tackle illegal content and risks to public security. It comes after Brussels had flagged the possible spread of terrorist and violent content and hate speech after Hamas's attack on Israel. Well, in the event of any proven infringements, the DSA carries penalties that can include fines of up to 6% of an online company's global revenues. Thousands of farmers gathered in the German capital this Monday, protesting the government's plans to cut subsidies and tax breaks for farmers. According to next year's budget, a partial tax refund on agricultural diesel, along with a tax exemption for farming vehicles, will be abolished to meet saving targets. The German Farmers Association said the cuts would cost farmers more than 1 billion euros per year. Well, let's hear from some of those at the protest. I did a rough calculation of the cost for the road tax and diesel for our farm. And for us, it would mean an additional financial burden of 20,000 euros per year. Most farms are run by families, and if these plans are implemented, we might as well shut down. What are we supposed to do? The land is there, it has to be harvested. And if it turns into a jungle, no one gains anything. Airlines has been fined a record $140 million fine over operational failing last year. More than 2 million passengers were left stranded after Southwest cancelled more than 16,900 flights. That was during a busy week of holiday travel and a winter storm. The penalty is 30 times larger than any previous fine for consumer protection violations and comes on top of more than $600 million in refunds. Well, the airline has since made operational improvements and Tom, it says it's very much prepared for this winter that's coming. We'll have to see. OK, well, that's good to hear. Thank you very much indeed. Karis Garland with today's Business News. Thanks to you.